Hey everyone, welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. We all need an amazing chocolate cake recipe, and this one is just that, for a number of reasons. Not only is this cake delicious, moist, deep, rich, and chocolatey, but it is a one bowl mix, no mixers required, and no weird ingredients like egg replacers or things that you probably don't even have. Believe me, you have everything you need for this cake. And it also can be done in about an hour from start to finish. That includes the icing too. You can literally make this lower sugar fudge icing recipe, which is a straight up copycat recipe from when I owned my bakery. All of it in about one hour. So check out just how easy it is to make this cake and go ahead, time me. For the cake batter, you will need just the basics of cake baking. You know, flour, sugar, cocoa powder. Now I'm adding brewed coffee to the cocoa powder to unlock the soulmate relationship that coffee and chocolate have together. If you have not tried coffee in your chocolate recipes, you have got to do this. Now, next, I've got the oil and vinegar and some vanilla extract, and then all the dry ingredients are in a large mixing bowl, and that's the flour with the sugar, baking soda, and salt. Give it a good whisk to kind of incorporate it, and then add in all of those liquid ingredients, and that's it. Just a little bit of elbow grease to mix it all up, and then into a parchment-lined and greased pan it goes. Today I'm keeping it simple for a one layer sheet cake. So this is a nine inch by 13 inch pan, but you can easily make a couple of eight or nine inch layers out of the same amount of batter. Cupcakes also work excellent from this recipe. All right, get that into the oven. And now to make the fudge icing. This is the original recipe from when I owned my bakery, only this time I've cut way back on the sugar. Click the link below this video for the full length video tutorial for how to make this fudge icing, but it is pretty simple. Believe me, this can be prepared in the same time that your cake is baking, so I think I'm still on target for that one hour that I promised. Now once this cake is baked and fully cooled, flip it out and ice it up. This fudge icing is a dream to work with. It really is super stable. It just spreads perfectly. It's just so delicious. Now, sprinkles or not, you now have yourself one luscious cake. I just love this recipe so much. It's just too easy to make. And most people ask me, what did you put in that cake? It's the best I ever had. And my answer is always what I didn't put in it because it's vegan. All right, everyone, go grab the recipe, Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.